Okay, so each year we try to update everything, um, like do a little video of how it looks around here so that you get an idea of the layout and everything and how things have changed. So today, that's what I'm going to try to do. I don't have RJ with me. Um, he's working someplace else. And so, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do this real quick and, and make sure that I can get it all in. So you come in and this is a yard pen right now. We used to have it as the milking pen or the milking, the milk goats were in here. Um, the truth is, is this is anything now, it's anything that needs attention. So we've got our goats that are getting older that we're concerned about getting through the winter. Um, and we have Snow with her bloody horn who is not supposed to be um, bread. She did something to her horn yesterday. So um, she's actually in here so she wouldn't be bred, but she's just, I think she wants her mom who's out on the pasture. Okay. So then a big change is when you come out here, the picnic tables are no longer here. They're outside the gate over there for people to have a waiting area or lunch without the animals because the chickens kept coming in here and the tree had to come down. So this fence is now gone. We used to have the, the xylophone plastic feet on it with a spoon, spoon thing there. Um, we used to have this fence. So our back door now opens out onto our pasture. And I don't know why, but this is just awesome to me. Um, for some reason it hits home. This is my backyard. So before when the fence was here, I had this little dinky backyard. Now, for some reason, and it's just the absence of a fence. It makes no sense, but in my mind, it's just amazing. So anyway, this side over here, we still left as part of the yard pen. Um, but we have Miss Piggy. The dog uses it at night because kids still, he's still that puppy and we can't just turn him loose like we do Hank and Jethro. So that is one of the things is at night he goes out and he learns to protect from inside the fence. The other change that you may or may not have seen, you know, each video is different on YouTube and so we, we cover projects, but another thing that has changed is we have divided this big pasture. Um, the start of this year, this whole thing, all the way out there to those double gates was one pasture. Um, for easier rotational grazing, we now have a pasture over here, which only Murphy's on, and he switches sides every month so that anything that's grown over here can be eaten because he's only one. Oh, come here. Did mommy scare you? She did. Come here. Hey, it's mommy. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. See, now he's going to follow me. Anyway, so we have Murphy over here. <laughs> and we have this big pasture now divided into two. And we go through here. Alright. And sorry about the plank, plank, planks. And yes, you have to double latch it. Or Mr. Murphy plays with when this is on his side he'll flip it out and open it up not a good thing so then that leaves this half over here which we have our two baby calves over there and of course all of our girls and someplace out here Burl is um, playing with the girls I don't know so this is now the main sheep pasture okay but we also divided off another section so remember the the first the start of the year this corner this l-shaped all of this and all of that all the way down to the road was one pasture so am i making you dizzy yet or confusing you <laughs> trying not to so okay then we divided this pasture of course and miss jenny's out here hanging out with the other equine but we made this into a area um, it's going to it's going to be our training facility we don't need a whole lot so we're going to do it ourselves i've got to clean out those stalls we've got two stalls done two more to make 
Um, I still have to get the back trim on. I have the side trim on. I don't have the back trim on. Um, anyway, so we've got stalls and runs out here. This will also have a round pin right out there. It opens up into the arena. And this new fence is uh, our new division of it. Um, the first part of this year, that's Miss Ginger. Miss Ginger, fresh out of prison. <laughs> I'm hoping that she'll go to eating grain at some point. She prefers hay. She just doesn't want to eat grain. So this right here, now we do have plans. You'll see that there's a hose over there running to those feet. We have plans to put in water spigot. You can't have this many animals and not and just have one spigot and run it all with water, with uh, hoses. So um, anyway, this right here, this is Burl's doing, this concave fence here. And I'm going to have to just stake it down like so and bend it all back. Um, instead of being out with his girls, he sometimes likes to come over here. He's busted some wires. Wired this up, which is what I plan to get done today. And Ralphie's over there. Yes. At the start of the year, this was the bullpen, wasn't it? Mr. Zebu was out here. But right now he's out of the pasture, so during the winter it becomes the ram pen again. And then, of course, we have our uh, standard. These have been here forever, these old parts. The old pipe fence has all been here um, for a while. Uh, anything that I add on, I don't have a welder, so I don't do pipe. I do wood, T-post, woven wire. Um, I'm pretty handy with wood. So I pretty much think I can build anything that I absolutely need. This pin right here was added at the last of last year. So in this video like this last year, it would have showed this is a new add-on like I just showed you these others. Um, this right now is not in use because the pond is not frozen. Um, this is the Kef pen and during the summer we use it for things we're doctoring or whatever. Uh, but I have those because it's winter. Those that need to be doctored are actually in the barn. My little, my two little that you saw out with the sheep, they're housed in the barn. But this is all open right now. Um, we've got four horses put up, and it still leaves us with plenty of pens thanks to this year. Um, I have to open this up, is what I'm going over here for. Uh, thanks to this year's two new add ons, we have enough pens oh, I may not be able to do this one handed I may have to stop okay it's kind of stiff and it should hold it I accidentally hit the button on the camera sorry anyway so this is um all open and it's because we don't have anything precious will be over there uh, she is out with RJ on a day job when the pond freezes I have all of this place to pull everything off of my pasture and that is a big deal here because it doesn't get cold cold it only gets cold like at night um, it is <sighs> the cows brains don't shift that fast from it's frozen oh it's not yes it is no it's not and so sometimes they think it's not and it'll be frozen and we've had calves get out there and get stuck on the pond and had to actually put our lives in danger to get them off and try and save them. Um, worst year we had two out on the pond at the same time. And it was the middle of the night. Lee was gone. RJ was little. It was horrible before cell phones. So, yeah. Okay. The other thing that is switched back up. This was the man pen. Um, which when we had... To, to, our billies passed away so we're down to just four rams and we did have six and a wither that would always escape that had to stay in here so we had seven and so we needed this bigger pen and so we took it from the calves but now we don't need a bigger pen all three of those guys even the fourth will fit up underneath that little shed we're looking at expanding that red shed pen the actual red shed and these guys, I've got to get out here and get them some more hay. We're waiting on them to kind of clean this up so that they're not wasting so much. And then right in here, hey, big girl, Delilah. 
go and let me pet on you. This is Delilah. For those of you who remember, yes, she's a bottle baby. She says, I want, <laughs> she's getting big though, isn't she? Delilah, Delilah, yeah? You gonna be my next bidet, huh? Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> she's so sweet. She still isn't sure she's gonna play with the cat. She's getting big though. Um, if you remember, she was a little bottle baby we got. So this pen, I cleaned it out yesterday. Um, we've got some salt in here. I'll bring in some mineral and uh, that and then they will be housed in here in the winter um so that they can stay a little bit warmer and i will tell you if you're building something the difference between a half front and a no front stall in temperature is amazing um over here although it looks dark you can actually feel a temperature shift and all of the 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 heat stays in here so if you have a chance and you're planning um, different stalls and you know what you're using them for you might consider a half front it doesn't have to be you know it just provides a really good windbreak and it the temperature change in there is amazing so these guys are mad because I'm out here in their pasture and they're the little bit bigger calves they're not babies anymore are they although Gordy's in there I got one that has a little bit of pink eye, got a dot in her eye, can't see as well as the other. She'll be sticking around up here. But and Gordy, Gordy will be sticking up. But these guys are too little to be out on the pasture by themselves. Every time we put them out, they kind of get a little puny. So I just keep them up, feed them morning and night, and they're doing wonderful. And Gordy, yes, him with his bum leg. And this one right here can't see very good. She can see shadows. Hey, hey. She can hear my voice, so, yep. But, and that one over there has one dot in its eye, but you can see it still has a good eye. So, it follows me, <laughs> yeah. But, Gordy's got bump, oh, she found a kitty. Um, <laughs> and she's not as good, you know, cause she's blind, she can't, she just can't make it on her own. She's got a little bit of, poopy butt but we stopped the poopy butt and so she'll be healthy those two will probably stay in here forever these guys when they get big enough they'll join the herd it just takes time takes time so anyway um those are the changes that we've made by adapting the use of the pens that we have um i guess reassigning them would be a good word we reassign them when we get some when we get different pens that are new this is still the equipment pen still my most hated place on the farm it's just always yucky looking it never looks clean it never looks <sighs> put together it's I know some of y'all call them bone yards no it's equipment sitting around which if it was just the equipment sitting around I'd be fine but that's also our trash pile old fencing pile Ugh, just not my favorite place on the farm and as long as I can't see it I guess I should be you know happy um RJ forgot to let out the chickens this morning we were kind of in a rush I had a super bad migraine I've taken some medicine it's now under control but RJ had to go to work he felt horrible leaving me he hates to leave chores for me to do when um I don't feel good, but that's okay. We have all kinds of, there's our, one of our roosters, two of our roosters, I don't know, three of our roosters, there they all go. All right, and all of our ladies here. So one of the things I've got to do is clean this out today. Um, we've been supplementing them a little bit because at night the grounds the ground freezes so a lot of times in the morning they won't be able to see or they won't be able to scratch up any bugs until later in the afternoon so they only have a couple of hours of good eating time if that makes any sense so I, I don't feel like they're getting enough so we supplement them with corn it also helps to um, generate body heat for them so yeah all right the last of the improvements went on down here in the garden now these improvements we have been unable to use yet but they're in place for next year um sorry i have to unwire here uh, 
they're in place for next year and, and I plan on getting after this and staying after this and, and really I've got to move those red tubs um, but the big addition down here is the new trellis system so as you can see this bar right here slides up and down so that as the things grow you can just move it right up I have a compost pile here a fire pit down here and it's just a makeshift fire pit but I absolutely love it um, this fire pit is an old feed trough that or old water trough that the bottom rusted out of so there's no bottom in it but it's deep enough to keep the flame down in there it's got some of this was supposed to go over there and we weren't supposed to have that my she shack is gonna go there someday. but no one thing was so. done all at once does that make sense so oh that wind is picking up sorry um, so while we didn't divide the pasture all in one day um, add the little changes that we've made to the repairs that we've done if you remember we redid that far section right there and redid it so that we would um, have better fencing out there so that was half redone um, and then we redid the whole north end we put two new strands of barbed wire up does it look any different no but we did work our little butts off so and if you remember we turned this little stall into Murphy's stall um, we just put the sides on um, put a hay feeder in there um, that kind of stuff nothing drastic but definitely makes a difference so we've done a lot of work this year and it, it just is really amazing to see it all